Hi everyone, I'm Francie from Plant-Based Radiance. Now the radiance is because when you eat more plants, you will get the glow. Better skin and greater health and vitality. So today I'm going to make a breakfast dish so simple, I only do simple recipes for you gals. So it's making granola in an instant pot. Do you have one? If you don't, my daughter gave it to me for Christmas and I love it. You can do so many things. Would you even think that I would be making granola in an instant pot? But I have found that it's actually crispier and better than when I use the oven. That doesn't mean I won't be giving you the recipe for the oven granola also. But we're gonna start with the Instant Pot. And here are my ingredients, or in the chef's terms, a mise en place. So here we have uncooked, old-fashioned, organic oats. I have four cups. Here is some sugar, but I used coconut organic sugar. It looks more like a brown sugar and it is healthier. So I have some of that. I'm going to use a sweetener eventually. You can use anything of your choice. I am using a little honey and I know it isn't totally vegan, but I'm gonna use it today for this. You could use anything. Date paste, agave, maple syrup. I'm gonna use this today. I have cinnamon for the spice. I have some pecans, any nut would be good, chopped. And I have vanilla and a pinch of salt. At the very end, we're gonna to toss in some organic, unsweetened cranberries. It could be goji berries or any berries, dried of course, of choice. That's it. So here's what we do. We have our pot here, our instant pot. I'm gonna pull it out. I need to spray it a little bit, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to use any oil um, except for this cooking spray. It's 100% canola oil, organic, and I'm just doing that so that the mixture does not stick to the pot. So there we go. The next thing I'm going to do is take these dry ingredients and just mix them. So in go the oats, and then we have the cinnamon, my nuts, the sugar, and the salt. And we're ready to go. I'm just going to stir this up. Then I'm going to segue to the wet ingredients. That too is very, very simple because all we have is the sweetener. And the vanilla and you're looking at it. <laughs> That's really all we have. So I'm gonna whisk it a little bit. And then I'm basically just going to add it to the dry mixture. Okay, I'm ready to stir this up with the wet into the dry. And then I'm just gonna put it in the pot. Let's go on over here. I'm gonna put this in the Instant Pot. And as you look up here on the settings, I am going to do 
slow cook. I'm going to do, actually cook this for about two and a half hours. I'm not going to use the top that goes with the Instant Pot, this. Rather, I'm going to take just a regular top to one of my cooking pans and I'm going to lay this on the side, but I do want an opening, a venting of it. Uh, it does tend to make it crispier. So now all I'm going to do is come and stir this periodically just to make sure that it's fully coated and that it's toasting equally. You got it. Simple, plant-based, for your health. And today we made granola in an Instant Pot. Make sure you subscribe. I'd really like that.